Yeah. Technology. Got, technology, yeah. It's pretty good that we've... Uh, I might close the window here. I'm pretty clear, am I? Yeah, very clear. Very Great. clear. Okay. Yeah. I just close these windows here. Oh. Oh, I just had one of those days now. Did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Busy? <laughs> oh, just kids and... Oh, yeah. All that. Do you I have know kids? kids. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Quite a few. I have seven, actually. Oh, have you really? Yeah, wow. I do. Well, they're, they're not that young anymore, but uh, yeah, I had seven. Okay. Yeah. So I, I can understand, Frank. Yeah, I had a few today. Some <laughs> of them kind of funny. Some of them, uh, the kind of funny one is I came, I went upstairs and I left my... Um, I left my 12 year old and I said, just have something to eat, but don't have some, something sweet, please. And so then I, came, I forgot something and I came back downstairs and he yeah. had a Nutella sandwich <laughs> with the Nutella, literally this, it was this thick in, inside yeah. the bread. Oh yeah. And, I, and then, so I said to him, right, here's the options I gave him. I said, um, okay, you have a choice. <laughs> I'll make you a salad sandwich with tomatoes, onions, salad cream, ham or yeah. you don't have your phone for two weeks and okay yeah so guess what he chose yeah the nutella he, he chose no phone for two weeks instead of a salad oh. sandwich i mean he did oh my word okay he's a kid he's a kid, he's a kid. <laughs> unexpected <laughs> a salad sandwich <laughs> that's your consequence for eating the nutella you have to have a salad sandwich or lose your phone for two weeks. And he said, no phone. Whoa. The new generation, man. The new generation. A salad sandwich. <laughs> but maybe it's good. He's not so addicted to stupid phone. Yeah. It so. doesn't last too long to eat it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. I, I had a busy day too. Some work and yeah. Late night. But we okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I was out earlier thinking about this, um, thinking about our chat, thinking about this idea of non-duality and uh, not mm -hmm. even an idea, but that's kind of going, yeah. Ha I have no idea how to begin even. <laughs> even that's typical. I... So that's typical, you know. Yeah. <laughs> in reality, there's very little to say, you know, in reality, but, uh, you know, yeah. Yeah. It's not it's an logical. antidote for anything. I know, it's not, for sure, for sure. Mm. Yeah, what can we say? It's... Uh, it's very simple and ordinary, actually. You know, that's why it's hard sometimes to, to make a big statement to start with, because it's so simple. You know, it's just uh, very ordinary. Non-duality is very ordinary. Mm -hmm. So you have to kind of, uh, in, in reality, what happens when you, when you want to, to speak about it, I mean, it, it requires some, something, some kind of a trigger to to start because if not i mean I, I know for myself basically in my day to day life because well i'm working you know full time and everything so i never really even think of non duality i never talk about non duality 
really in a day-to-day -day life. It's not something, you no, know, it's not a state of mind and something you try to preserve throughout the day. You're not trying to be non-dual. You're not, you know, acting yeah. non-dual, thinking non-dual, and make sure you're not, you know, moving out of non-duality or whatever. Yeah. It's just, you know what I mean? It's just, uh, that's just the way it is simply. And uh, it's only because there is some kind of a, a trigger, some kind of a conversation, somebody that uh, kind of ask about it, then then it starts a conversation. You know, or of course, if I if I do a video, if I read about it, if I listen to somebody talking about it, then it starts the process. But if not, in a day to day life, there's it's not even a, it's not an issue. It's not a, something you consider. You know, it's so, yeah. If it makes sense. <laughs> no, well, it does because if it was something, um, I don't think there is an awful lot to be said. See, I, I mean, some days I kind of uh, sense this everythingness in free flow, mm -hmm. and other days I am seeking to know this uh, free fall. And, yeah. um, but I absolutely sense this, uh, that everything is it. And really, how could you be going around trying to be non-dual? Because then it's just somebody with a way to be or a practice. And it, yeah. be, it wouldn't yeah. be a free fall conversation then. No. Or it wouldn't be, yeah. It's not yeah, it would be, yeah, it's already non, it's already duality starting in that case, you know. Yeah. Thinking about trying to be, that's the big, uh, the, the big trap of it because, you know, you, 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 you can't get it, you can't reach it. And that's frustrating. I can imagine it must be, it is very frustrating for the one that is engaged to try to get it and, and constantly you know, almost, you, you almost touch it and it seems it's already gone again. You know, it's, it's unreachable, but it seems to be reachable. You know, when you start thinking about it or talking about it, then it seems to be reachable, but then it's always a little further, you know, the carrot, it's yeah. staying away. I'd like, if I was to describe, for me, it would be a kind of a sense of, okay, there's everything in within that everything. Uh, there's Frank trying to get it. And then it's okay. I'm trying to get it. Then it's okay. Yeah. And it just kind of yeah. evaporates. But that sense of then trying to hold on to that idea almost becomes the next uh, loop. Or, and it's then you just realize, oh, this is a lot of shit, this Thought, this thought pattern then it is actually <laughs> yeah it is you know it's, it it's, is it's there was so... a guy who called it uh, you know like we are like uh, dogs barking you know i don't know if you heard of this guy called yuji koshnamoti I've very interesting him. fellow yeah he, he called it you know we are like dogs barking you know it's like it doesn't make sense in reality you know? it makes sense in the story but if not it, does, it just doesn't make sense because there's nothing to really change, nothing to get, nothing to, to reach, nothing to understand, you know, the usual. Usual words, but the, yeah, the, you know, you kind of, I kind of go to myself, well, what, I mean, it's kind of apparent then the seeking thing is, it's just happening, I suppose, you know what I mean? That in the same way that it's maybe not happening, yeah, it's yeah. happening. You could say that. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Nothing wrong with it, you know. Nothing wrong with it, really. And but it's the all. urge then to get rid of it. Yeah, and that's it too, is it? <laughs> that is true as well. Yeah, it is always. I mean, anything is it already. So, yeah, you know, that's the principle of. Uh, Actually, there's, uh, you know, nobody is liberated. We all liberated or nobody is liberated uh, because, because that's just, there's just what is. So there's no such thing as this famous liberation. There is no such thing as this famous uh, enlightenment, you know, because uh, 
this just the one I, I like the the term the natural state it's just the natural state really natural state of being that is just as it is you know like uh, i mean what that what that feel so it's 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 like you could say that we are basically like uh, we are in essence we are exactly like animals we're basic animals you know uh, there's no difference between us and the animals beside the fact that we have uh, the, the human beings have the ability to have, to be self-conscious so to to be able to be conscious of themselves their surroundings and and because i think because of that what what happened is the, uh, the human beings become we we feel we don't really mean it necessarily we be, we feel we are superior to other species yeah. because we we are we have that ability which they don't seem to have I and mean, it's hard to say exactly how they function but they function very well you know they there is always in front of here in front of me like there is a window and there is always a squirrel passing by you know it's just that he's so busy he's always like <laughs> <laughs> those squirrels i love squirrels i think they are the most funny creatures and they it just you know they're so busy they're so active they seem to know exactly what they're doing they don't really do know really as consciously but they're they're so active because it's it's the the it's this mechanism of their survival you know they they just survive they just live their life they they get the food they get the shelter they feed the family when the big the family is old enough they kick them out possibly whatever you know they just survive and and we are exactly the same but our our the way we we survive now is is through a system that is very very sophisticated very complicated and so the you know the the self in that in that situation gets really like uh, you know, because it's, it can be complicated not to survive. Survival is, is simple, actually. You know, survival, you, you know, the, basically everybody can, can manage to get, you know, the money to get the food, to get the place to sleep and everything. But then there is the demand, the cultural demands of, of uh, you know, needing more and wanting and not just practically wanting more, but existentially wanting more because then culture seems to give us a lot of uh, principles, you know, like being successful, being rich, uh, being free, uh, whatever. And so culture really uh, feeds actually this energetic me that is needing. And then the, the culture, the system just add to it. And, 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 and then we get, uh, it seems like we, we get involved in a lot of, uh, cultural principles and moral values and stuff which which keep on disconnecting us really from the natural state from just that animalistic in a good sense positively speaking animalistic uh, behavior that's very simple but yeah our system is too is so intricate now that uh, we just we just we are completely bombarded by so many things that we that we feel we have to do we we have to be a certain way you know culture tells us how to be how to how to act how to be a, a good guy how to be a moral guy how to be a, a loving guy compassionate and everything and uh, while actually this this living organism is not even uh, interested at all about all this not at all it just doesn't care a bit about whether you're moral you you are a higher person you you are uh, morally uh, an example not at all the, the living organism which we are uh, we only are that really and all, anything else is an added from like culture and from wherever it started this energetic feeling of being somebody you know we just uh, yeah and so we 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 taken on the ride we we are taken this ride and it's true that that liberation is is uh, at the same time that it's the liberation of the energetic sensation then of being someone it's also the the liberation of the cultural existential cultural input that we we getting it's just it doesn't seem to get in anymore 
it's not there anymore. And so you, you, you don't really care about anything. <laughs> In reality, you don't care about anything. Because, because, because beside the survival, you know, but the survival, basically you have your needs and you have your wants. If the needs and the wants are kind of balanced, it, life is quite simple. But as soon as there is the, I need more, I need this, I need to be this, or whether like, again, if it's practical or existential, then, then the trouble starts and the complications and the difficulties and, and then the obsession, then the me gets super obsessed. He's very obsessed with me, he's so, so obsessed. It has, he has, it has to be obsessed by something. Yeah, you know, constantly. No, it needs to be yeah. Fuck's sake. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I, don't worry. I had, I, like I had a thought there that last night, uh, again, probably I don't know how often I have this, but non duality, like it's just the worst thing to be. It's just the worst thing to be. <laughs> because almost, it, uh, it was like a vacuum. Of, yeah. It, it, I sense that, that idea of there is no person nobody thingy absolutely disappearing and kind of going oh what are you left with then <laughs> when there isn't this idea yeah, yeah. of no me or, know, or me or no me when that's gone it's kind of like you get sucked in which is which is not true necessarily but you get sucked in by this me and no me and getting yeah. to no me place yeah. but then when you realize when you half even just sort of realize that that's that's just words. You kind yeah. of feel, uh, you know, just in a, um, yeah, what the fuck like then? Yeah. And that's it is, yeah. It's a big fuck, I tell you. <laughs> Seriously. Absolutely. You know, it's like death, you know, non-duality. It's, it's, like, it's like death, you know, there's, that's it, you're, you're dead in a way. You know, in a positive way, <laughs> but it's just that's it. You know, like the the whole this whole thing. Like you know, we feel that life is the what we feel, what we what we feel, what we experience, and everything. That's what we think is life. But that that's not life. That's that's just uh, that's basically knowledge. You know, we have knowledge of things, and you know, culture fills us with knowledge. And that knowledge, you know, then, like, again, we have to, to, to be a certain way. You know, this is the, the, the terrible thing is the, the have to be a certain way. You know, there's no, there's no need to be a certain way. You know, this is like a big uh, misconception. You know, we don't have to be a certain way, but culture has really conditioned us that we have to be a certain way, you know, so... We have to be a good, a good guy, a good dad, a good uh, this, a good that. Um, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but then that's it's then you, you sort of live in a world of trying to fit into these categories that you believe are these ways of being that you feel are the right way to be. So there's a right way to. Yeah, yeah. Act and address somebody and talk and yeah. not talk and yeah. dress. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. And then, I mean, a belief, actually, whatever we believe, when you think of it, a belief, what's a belief? It's something that is not tangible because, like, believing in God, for instance, if, if, you, if you need to believe in God, it's because you, you're not at that you're not there where it's supposed to be. So you, you, you depend on the belief, but the belief means you are outside of even what you believe in. You know, a belief is just, uh, it's just uh, a step towards something that, that you don't even know that is, you know. Uh, so it's the end of beliefs. That's what is really good. But there's so many little beliefs. It's not just like the big belief, believe in God or believing in Darwin or, whatever it's just the, all the, the little beliefs that about yourself about about life you know it, it's uh yeah what about being a seeker then and about non-duality 
in a way, like, I mean, it's another, I mean, it's the last one, but may, I don't even know. I mean, maybe it isn't the last one, fuck's sake, but um, <laughs> um, the, uh, it's yeah. the one that's most uh, ludicrous to have as an anchor. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, because like, I, I'm doing this film at the moment and uh, it's kind of, it's, uh, we're keeping it quiet, what we're doing, but um, a part of it may be talking to a psychologist. And I was kind of saying, right, I I, I'm kind of saying, I don't really like the idea of talking to a psychologist because if I have to try and explain um, this, and, and then this is me kind of in a way, defensive sort of way, it's, well, I don't want to explain non-duality and this idea that I am yeah. on, because it almost, it's like as if I'm trying to protect this last non-duality thing, because I'm kind of going, how do I explain the selflessness yeah. idea? How do yeah. I say that my sense is that this is all just happening by itself, and within that is feeling apart from it? Because he, mm. somebody just go, that's total bullshit. And I probably go, well, it's probably a bit of bullshit too. So what am I talking about then? Mm -hmm. And so yeah. I'm almost afraid to go into a room to have that conversation because I just, yeah. Am I also holding because, on to something then? Really, you know? Yeah, because the the, the psychologist he will never have that in his box of uh, of in his files. Non duality cannot be part of it. You know, that's why you know some people. I mean, me personally, um, the 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 way this realization happened was a long, long time ago, actually. It was when I was a young teen, actually. And this is when I realized there was no, no center there at all. And the funny thing is, you know, we talk about non-duality being liberation and everything, but this realization was made, and for me, it was the most disastrous realization <laughs> because I was, here, here I am, a young teen, and um, I, I have no idea about psychology, uh, spirituality, non-duality. I don't even know if it existed. That's quite a long time ago. I don't know the type, the name it existed. Probably Advaita is quite old, I guess. But the, I had no reference, absolutely no reference. So basically, I believe that, that, that I don't, as a teen, when that was, was seen, and it was very, very, very scary, actually, and because the, the, this mechanism of survival, just like, wow, how I'm gonna leave now? How I'm gonna, how I'm gonna leave now? It's just like weird. And I even, uh, at the time, I, it was quite uh, heavy for me to carry this stuff. And for some reason, I never even talked to my parents, to anybody about it. It was a very strange experience. And I knew that talking about it would never, would, would uh, meet, a very strange response, like, what the fuck are you talking about? What are, what are you talking about? You know, like, just, just go back to your studies. Just go back to this, go back to that. And, um, and I even tried, actually, because I thought, like, this is really weird. There was a sense of something that was, like, permanent, and at the same time, something like, something is really missing. So I could, I could see the negative side of non-duality. <laughs> like, what? It's a loss, a complete loss. And uh, so I did a bit of, I started the psychotherapy. The person in front of me was like, absolutely could not relate whatsoever. And basically I could see that she was putting, departmentalizing me into possibly like a personality disorder, yeah. uh, you know, confusion, teen, teenhood confusion, <laughs> whatever. She didn't have that in her arsenal of, of uh, you know, equipment to deal with. And I realized, man, and I, re I realized then at that moment, really, I'm fucked with that stuff, you know. And, and uh, it, was, uh, it, was, it was very difficult and it lasted for a long time. So I learned to use, to, to live with it, but there was no center there, really. There was... There was nothing. The, in the way it happened to me, I don't know why I never got into, well, that's a long time ago, you know, like 50, 45 years ago. 
I never got in, into spirituality, for instance, or things like that. The, the, the thing is, I, I basically even stopped my studies uh, because, you know, why studying? <laughs> well, what the point of even studying, you know, was my, my focus was really to sort out that very strange, uh, very strange experience. And uh, I finally ended up going to India. And um, there I met some actual, actually some Christians. And somehow I was so out of structure in my life. I had nothing. I had no beliefs anymore. I had no, nothing to, 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 to hold on and to construct my life. Like there was no future for me, basically. Yeah. And then, and, and so I kind of, uh, this, there was some kind of a, a pleasant thing about this message and the hope of, you know, there is God at the end of the, the journey and, you know, you're going to go to, to heaven. It felt like, oh, cool, that's good. That's one good thing for me, yeah, basically. <laughs> and then, and then uh, so I, I ended up being a Christian for quite a long time, but it never really solved the inside, the behind the scene struggle and and thing you know that uh, that was there this no center and everything and I thought like okay through praying or meditation and things like that I would I would basically kind of find a good balance and everything but it never really worked and that's why eventually this whole thing this whole belief just finally fell away and then that was then I realized okay this is a time now to to, to look that thing in the eye a little bit closer, you know, what the, what the thing is about. And it's only, uh, that I was talking about Yuji Krishnamurti, this guy, which, which basically it's non-duality really. Uh, even though he had, well, I think he was the, the main, the, the first guy really talking about that, that there was no one and everything in such a way, like, and that is it, there's no one, finish, over. And when, once I heard this message from him, it was like, okay, that's it. Oh, here it is. And it kind of, uh, it stopped the, the process of being like, uh, what's going, what, what, how can I leave? What can I do? And I, I realized that is it. It is over. So for me, it was kind of a very strange thing. It was the, a very different path than, than others, you know, who have gone through spiritual teachings and everything. And eventually, not that it's connected, but yeah, I, I didn't have at, at all this this path or whatever. It's just it was done already as a teen. <laughs> it already happened this thing as a teen, and I, I I carried that all my life. Only what in the world is that? Because you don't hear about it, you don't see it, you you don't. If you read, you could look into any books, you will never find, you know, anything about that subject. Uh, really, in reality, well, I never found it. So, do you think there was a, uh, a hanging on? So there was a bang, obviously, of some description, and then it was coping with that. Really, is that what is that what you would describe it as? It sounds like yeah, me, like... yeah. It, for me, it was very simple. I heard this guy talking for about five minutes, and oh yeah. That was it. That was so simple. There's no one. Because I thought I was weird. Because I never heard about anybody else having a, this being, not being non-dual, that's stupid, but uh, this non-dual principle. I never heard of it. So I never heard any conversation that could even pinpoint that such a thing is okay. And it's just only the sense of nobody doing anything. That then that yeah. then it just dropped, did it? It's, yeah, because it's very uncomfortable when you when you are no one but you still try to do something because you you don't really um it's the, the fact that they that you you realize there's no center you're no one but at the same time there is this there is, was still because of this survival mechanism that is uh, you know that what the body carries the body is built in with that survival mechanism like the other species which is which is survive and so for me the survival was actually survival just of surviving in this world basically to not uh, collapse basically like uh, 
And um, because I heard other people who, who had uh, experiences like that when the, the me fell away and they didn't have a, a, proper, a proper explanation for it, they thought they were going crazy, you know, because yeah. it's just like, how come, you know, everybody has a center, <laughs> everybody is somebody, you know, but all of a sudden you, you realize there's no center, there's no one there and it's, it's it's very awkward and people people can uh, can uh, yeah some people I heard about different people that that they thought they were crazy and then what they do they hide it because they know they, it's useless to even try to talk to their family about it but they would you know they might think I'm I'm, I'm uh, you know I need to go for a, a psychiatric treatment treatment or something so. I, like I had this sensation in my twenties of couldn't get it out of my head. This sensation—it just hit me one day of mm -hmm. something. There is something, and there could be nothing. I, I'm sure I've said this before, but this something. There is something that could be nothing, and what would nothing be like? And then oh, it was kind yeah. of nothing was. Whoa! What the? What, what would nothing be like? And it was kind of. I found that it was almost a. <clears throat> And I was walking, I remember walking around, talking to people and being so fucking just, everything just seemed to vibrate, but not in a, not vibrate in a real, I could be hurt by the, the, uh, everything, this kind of mm -hmm. sensitivity to yeah. everything. And that kind of maybe, um, I don't know what that was exactly. I kind of, it stayed with me, this idea of what would nothing be? What would nothing yeah. be like? And still, sometimes yeah. it would hit me some days of, ooh, what the fuck? Anyway, yeah. it's not this. It's not. It's not the same what, what you're talking about, but I, at all really. But that's what just came to mind. Um, yeah, but that's funny. Yeah, it's very funny because uh, when I was very young, before even that uh, realization, I had the same thought: what did what would it be if there was nothing? <laughs> I had the exact same thought. The exact same thought. I remember it just came. I didn't really, it didn't really develop so much into something. But I remember at some stage, and, uh, I don't know what I was doing, but the thought just hit me. Yeah, what, 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 what it would be to be nothing. It, what, what is it? What you know, if there was nothing. If there was same nothing. Manner. Yeah. 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 Oh, I, yeah. And almost had the same. You can kind mm -hmm. of, but nothing, 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 nothing. So what would not existing? Be yeah. like. Mm -hmm. uh, exactly. If there was absolutely nothing, no existence, mm -hmm. no anything. What would that be like? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No ideas, no anything. And sometimes then I wonder about that sensation and free fall. You know, are they that sensation of what would there be? What would it be like if there was nothing anyway? Yeah, I don't know where I'm going with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. I mean, that's it. That is the this non duality in a way. This is liberation. This is the when when there is the reality realization, you know, there is really there is really nothing. It's even though we we live in a world full of full of stuff, but there is nothing. It it is true. It's no point to the whole thing, really. So there's no more question. The, 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 the big thing is the, the, the non-duality is the end of the existential question. You know, you, you still have normal questions, practical and, you know, the survival and everything. But there's no more that existential need. And it's, it's absent. Because it's not like you... This is base you know, camp. Because there, there is no word, it's not going anywhere. It was always base camp. Base camp is a yeah. strange word to use, but it's not like, it, yeah. Is that, it's because you just, there's a recognition that this mm -hmm. isn't going anywhere. There's, there's a recognition that this is home. I like the word home, but there's obviously a recognition in some way, shape, or form from somewhere that what's happening is it. Mm -hmm. Is that the case? It, it, there must be some sort of recognition, or maybe there isn't, or maybe there's just the rec. There's all recognition is gone, is it? 
Yeah, it's only when we talk about it that it, you, you, you kind of re-realize it. But like I said at the beginning, for me, I, I don't ever think about non-duality and there is nothing. I'm, I'm very busy, so I don't really have time also. If I had more time, maybe I would be thinking more about it. Maybe doing more videos, maybe go uh, meet more people to discuss about it, whatever. But in my situation, so there's absolutely life goes on with, without any consideration of it at all. So it's only when there is a trigger, because now we talk about it. So, okay, if not, if not, I, I never think in terms of non-duality. There's no, not a, a, a specific uh, anything that comes up as a, a little bit of an experience, even very small. No, no, not even. But I could swear, whatever way you moved your head there, it was like it was recognized again for the first time. Is that, it just, you seemed to jump with a little bit of excitement. Is that, am I probably totally <laughs> But there seemed to be the recognition, because I've heard before the recognition is always new. It's always only ever happening now or something. Uh, but that's not, I'm, yeah, I'm on mute but, words on, on the boot mm, of your face, which is ridiculous. Yeah, of course, because it's fa fascinating. The, the, the talking about it can be fascinating because you're, ex you're exposing a, a, a real illusion there that is widespread, you know, in the way there is a widespread illusory world out there where the me has, has created like panic on the planet, really, uh, you know, messed up everything and, and you know, the, the life of other species and you know, uh, you know, degrading the the planet and and everything. So it's a major. It's quite fascinating to see the what the human being is is involved in and what he's creating. Is very. It's very not scary. I will not say scary because it's just you know we, it's just what happened. We can't uh, help it. You know the the monster is on the go really, and you know basically. Basically, there's nothing we can really do about it, even though, you know, we think we should try, you know, sell the planet or, you know, put, uh, you know, to, 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 you know, whatever, politically, socially, you know, whatever. But, yeah. uh, Is there a planet? Yeah. Is there a planet? <laughs> well, that's, well, you see, this is the, that I, uh, interesting questions i have no idea you know it's like i don't go very deeply into things in, in, yeah. in some ways personally you know yeah. because i'm not like you know like examining constantly the thing about the nothingness what is a nothingness and everything i'm i'm very basic i find i'm taking it very basic you know i like the practical applications you know like seeing how the me has cre what it has created for instance you know the, the me has created such a a fuck up, you know. The, the you know. I think uh, you know. If, if we had been like uh, cool, like the other species, you know, uh, we wouldn't have you know the the this really weird uh, re weird system and everything that uh, that is emanating from it. You know, though at the level of you know. Savagery that human being has been into and everything. So yeah. that's the me. The me is uh, because there's, there's something very interesting about the, this me. What the me is uh, because he's separated. Okay, the me is separated. He lives in separation. So because he's living in separation, he's always uh, uh, you know like uh, evaluating everything and judging everything. So uh, he, he judges. Uh, the way the world is, he judges other people, he evaluates other people, so it's like division. The separation creates also divisions, and the divisions create also conflicts, create conflicts all over the place. And that's why the me is a major author and creator of conflicts. <laughs> I mean, at every level, the, the simplest level, you know, we, we you know, we and then he has created, you know, so many beliefs, so many opposite beliefs that are not just opposite, but very often they are enemies. And uh, so, yeah. But then, uh, still, then that is everything. 
appearing as a me mm -hmm. doing that. Is that not the case? It's still the everything happening. Yes, it, exactly. As that. Exactly. As that. Yes, as that, yeah, definitely. Definitely. So, you know, when I talk about that, because I, I, it's observation, you know, it's not yeah. like uh, it, I, it's, you observe, it's, it's an observation that, that shows up, you know, and I guess we're all a bit different, you know, we have our character, our personality, and I don't know, I've always been interested by, by you know, the, the world and everything, the way things work and... Uh, the, oh, I, I, and to add to that, I'm kind of interested in that too, um, because when I think of humans and a planet i think um we believe that we are we destroy the planet and a part of me feels that the thing that we are born from so this earth where apparently it seems to me that we're born from it you know we're bo uh, like the dogs and the whatever everything we have come yeah. from this planet so the thing that we are born from we think we are more intelligent than it yeah yeah, and yet yeah. It, we came from it. I find that spectacular, and I also mm -hmm. uh, it may be true we may be more intelligent than that which created all this, that, but it doesn't seem like that's possible. And also, I think that this idea of destroying the planet and wrecking everything it, it could be true, but yes, we have we are from this planet. So, I mean, how much volition is there in, you know, I think if the planet wanted rid of us, <laughs> it's a totally separate subject now, but I do, I've often yeah, talked about yeah. it, the planet wanted, if we were really causing the planet um, harm, we'd be eviscerated in a flash. It seems to me that that's extremely... Yeah. Yeah, could be but that's out. what, it's not the planet. The planet is not doing anything. Planet is okay. <laughs> it's us. Yes. You know, us, we, we can, we can uh, basically create. Yeah, it's true, we're deviating from the, the subject, you know. But the only reason why I was saying that is because to see the, the me, the me is the creations of the me. The, yeah. the, what the me creates, it's so, it's so... You know, it's it's amazing actually what the me has created. You know, in that sense, it's like uh, that observation of this is what we <laughs> we came up with. You know, it's, yeah. In a way, then, you know, then if I go down that road, I just think, well, the me, it's a cesspit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the yeah. world is a cesspit. That yeah, we, the, mm -hmm. that this me, yeah. If it's that, if that is the case. But, yeah, you could say that, you know, the, definitely, you know. Uh, but it doesn't change anything because it's true at the end, you know, basically, yeah, we might have like a dis, uh, disappearance of some species, even maybe ourselves. And then, but the earth will go on, you know, the, the planet, the universe will go on, you know. We, the, I don't think the, the planet itself is not in danger. The universe is not in danger. We might we might do a lot of things on it, but we we not uh, it's not in danger. But we are for sure, you know. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a bit out of the subject of non-duality here, but yeah, you see, I'm a, I, I'm a, um, it's interesting though because a, um, I, I suppose maybe I have too much time, and I do think about these things. But even this idea of a planet and a universe and a place and all this, I kind of go well. I mean, where does this all come from? Or you know, I can't. I I, <laughs> I don't see a universe. I see mm -hmm. what's here. Oh yeah, I mean that's. But I have yeah. to take somebody else's word about that. There's a universe, and this is a planet, Earth, and that is called Earth, and yeah. So that's could true. Be, could be destroyed. I have to take, I've inherited that, those words. Yeah. Know yeah, even yeah. what they're about, like, I don't know. It's true. Yeah. We have no idea. We have no idea, really. Of not that the much. Me, uh, yeah. Yeah. And even the this me idea, has no idea. Yeah. Does anybody have an idea? Uh, Nobody does. Nobody has an idea. We, we have plenty of ideas, but we really have no idea of, it, of anything, really. It's all a mystery, really. Let's face it. It's all a mystery. We can describe it, like you say, you know, like uh, there's, it's a nothing. It's, uh, but even that, you know, we don't know. We don't know exactly, you know. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm referring to memory, which kind of annoys me, but I, um, this, I, again, this idea of this is there's everything, and within everything is, there is no base camp, there's nothing that can be known, there's no safe ground, there's, there's, yeah. there's no anchors, there's no place, there's no time, there's no volition, there's no control over this coming out of my mouth or this. And everything is just a, a, appearing and there's no way to know that because it's total free yeah. fall, uncontrollable yeah. free fall. And this is yeah. the beginning and end of everything. And it doesn't yeah. mean anything that what I say. And that's then, uh, but then that's kind of, I think a memory that I'm referring to, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm exhausted yeah. with fucking non-duality. <laughs> sorry, I know I'm talking. I know anymore. you've done a lot of it. It's good, it's good, it's good. Yeah, I mean, I, I've seen uh, quite a lot of your podcasts. You know, oh, of course. sorry. You, know, you, <laughs> <laughs> you are, you know, it's, uh, it's quite, uh, yeah. Yeah, and then I know it because you never get to it. So it's like, uh, yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah. You never get to it. You never get to it, yeah. Okay. There's no I point. I sometimes wonder, is it just... I'm a, a, it's hopeless, man. It's hopeless. Uh, but I'm obviously a ridiculously optimistic asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, but that's good. Coup. Why not? A throw de coup. Not? That's what I am. I can remember that from my... Throw de coup is asshole, isn't it? Throw de, throw de coup. <laughs> <laughs> so the, that's I'm an asshole. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, why, why not? You know, if not, you would be something else, or you would you would believe something else, or you would try something else. You know, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, yeah, because you can't help but doing what you're doing. Let's face it. We can't help doing what we do, or what we don't do. We can't help not doing what we're not doing, and. Yeah. that's it you know we I can't help it it's all automatic we we are on automatic pilot really because uh that's why you know but uh there is an example i always take i've lost your picture there you've cut you oh yeah oh. sorry oh well, yeah there you go all right you know what i think it's my battery and how i'm going to charge it now because if i charge it um hmm, I know it's my mean. iPhone. You've got the new iPhone, so you haven't got an iPhone socket and a... Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I have a, I have other headphones there. I'm equipped. I think I'm going to find the solution. Oh, you've there got you one go. of those adapters. Have you? Oh, you have the other. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Can you hear me now? I can perfectly, yeah. Oh, perfect. So then I can charge the little device. Here we go. We're going, we're doing good. It's great. It's yeah, what were, <laughs> what were we saying? What were we saying? Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this example is the, you know, like uh, when we, we don't realize how much we work working on autopilot really automatically so uh, basically everything is is uh, the living organism that functions that uh, that that does everything really and we not because if you think of uh, let's say you you're going to cross a road you're going to cross a street you're going to be so you you may think oh well, now i'm going to cross the road and then as you 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 prepare to do it, you may even be thinking about something else like your girlfriend, your, your problem, this or whatever. And then, so, so the whole thing there goes in your head about the girlfriend uh, that you may meet tonight or, not, or maybe not. You're worried if you're going to or not. I'm married, but I, I like where you're going with the story. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then, actually, while all that is happening, basically, you have been crossing the road. Yeah. In reality, you have hardly done anything. It's all happened so automatically on, on autopilot, you know, and it's, it's amazing because that, that really kind of confirms the, the whole thing that we don't need the me to do anything because really it's all happening. It's, all, it's the whole happening automatic. 
robotic almost, you know, while you were thinking of the girlfriend, you actually, you know, the, the body was able, the living organism, organism was able to, to do all the work of evaluating the cars, whether it's the right time to put your foot a second and go and check and not to bump into the, somebody on the way and everything, while you were somewhere else, really. So the me is really insignificant, really. It's nothing. It's an illusory thing. So it helps to kind of uh, confirm this principle of non-duality that actually the me is useless. The me is nothing. The me yeah, doesn't do a thing. It, it doesn't help, though. <laughs> Sorry? Because it doesn't help because it's a, basically what the me is almost is like this, uh, this claiming thing that, oh, look the way I crossed the road without even thinking. Exactly. Look the way I did yeah. it in autopilot. Look the way exactly. I came up with <laughs> yeah. that. It's almost, uh, I don't know what it is. Yeah, I couldn't tell you what me is. Yeah. I couldn't tell you about any of this. Yeah, because is. the me is only aware of what he's aware of. And it, of course, he's, he cannot be aware of everything else that happens, no. uh, which is outside of its awareness. And so it's a, the awareness of the me is very small. It's yeah. The, 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 the fantastic thing, though, about the me is because you can almost, I can admit to myself, oh, I, you know, I have no idea how I think, no idea how I talk, really. Obviously, you can break it down, yeah. how the hairs yeah. move, how the heart beat, how the trees move. Yeah. And yeah. yet, the self, you can still go, I'm not like, great the way I fucking know that. <laughs> I know, I know. The me takes the credit, yeah. Yeah. What's that? He loves like? to take the credit for everything. Yeah. Because that's he he needs he needs that to keep to keep alive. The the me has to stay alive and he it always has to do something and one of the ways to take credit, you know, I'm here. I'm here yeah. and I'm I'm in control. I'm I'm the one, you know. I'm the yeah. one. Even I'm when one. he can <laughs> just about admit that there's not much he can control, he still go, yeah. wow, I know that though. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. There's no end to it, you know. The, no. The guy is solid. He's solid. <laughs> For me, he's a solid little, well, not really, but he won't give up. No. He won't give up. He will always, he will always go from one thing to the other. He can jump very fast. He's a super high, fast jumper. <laughs> yeah. You try to trick him, he's already tricked you again. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. Yeah. And then you hear this sort of thing. And you know. I know, of course, you know. And it's true that the, the non-duality, there is this aspect that, uh, in a way, and especially when we talk about it, there is this aspect of this uh, liberation. And, and it's true, there's this, uh, this sense of, uh, if, if we talk about it, if we describe it, for the sake of describing it, it's true there is like a, a real disemptiness, it's very, it's very peaceful. The living organism, in the natural state of the living organism, is very peaceful. It's a very peaceful living, uh, living organism, very peaceful. It's only the me with, its, oh, with, the, with this energy of the me coming from God knows where, where how it started, you know. We said it started maybe when we were one year old, one year and a half, two years, whatever. And then, uh, and, and then from then on, you know, that's it, you were infected. And, uh, and then basically, yeah, and, and then the culture then feeds, culture feeds that and then gives you food, gives food to the meat. And then that's it, the meat just develops all kind of stuff. But if not, it's true that when that falls away, it's like, in a way, yeah, it's, it's so, it's very peaceful. There is a peacefulness about it in the background always, you know, that's, that's very nice it's, to say it. It's, uh, but for no one, of course, or no one, because that's, that's it, you know. If it doesn't exist, because that's what I hear, if it doesn't exist, and yet it's trying to <laughs> get to a place of, uh, I mean, what's going on really? How, how, what the fuck is going on 
in the sense if there is really no me and yet there's a sense of a me mm -hmm. what's that about any idea what's the sense of the me there's a sense what? of a me apparently in this mm -hmm. being alive in the world and yeah whatever. yeah but that we don't really know how it came up or how it got uh, it got there <laughs> originally you know yeah. there is there are like uh, you know like we say it happens uh, energetically we hear from some of these uh, you know like Tony Parker and people talk about that you know two year old one and a half year old that's when it it really starts uh, yeah why no idea no. No idea. We don't know. Uh, and not even the why, but like if, the, how is yeah. it then that it's seen that there is no me? What the, what's that about? It, that there was never a me really in the first place. Oh That's yeah. Oh yeah. Hmm. Never I guess because, yeah, yeah. Uh, Basically, the me, the me is really like knowledge. The me is knowledge, it's memory. It's memory. Uh, the me is not, uh, is not uh, you know, there's, there's not like a spirit, there's not a soul, all this. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's knowledge, really. Because the, the little kid, the reason why we say it probably happened at that age of one and, one and a half or two, because before that, the, the kid didn't have any knowledge, really. The kid didn't have, didn't learn, really. He learned a few things, maybe, you know, like slapping, uh, doing a slap on the hand, if he, whatever. But it's, it's, uh, it's maybe at this age, that's when the memory starts kicking off. The memory and the, the knowledge start coming in. And... And so that's something that just was like transferred to the child, and then that's it, you know, from that moment. Yeah, I, I guess. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it answered the question. Maybe not. It doesn't look like. <laughs> oh no, well, I'm just curious about this. Um, uh, that it was seen, or it's seen that you know that there never was. Oh, anybody yeah, doing was. anything mm -hmm. just appeared like yeah. there was but in truth that was an illusion or yeah. a, a felt illusion I don't even know what I'm talking about now I'm just repeating shit that I've heard yeah yeah from somewhere <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about but you know what I, I mean know. this idea yeah. that uh, oh, so. well it's like the the, the, the the crossing the road the crossing the road happened, uh, it happened and, and that is it. It just happened without me. It just happened without me in reality. It doesn't have to have a me. You don't need to have a me to cross the road. Yeah. You don't need to have a me to cross the road. So the me is actually, the, there's no, never a need for the me. The me is only a hindrance. <laughs> He's a fucking hindrance. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a funny thing. I think it's also I have the impression that the me is often also mistaken a bit, uh, mistaken for the personality, the character. You know, it all becomes like a big shamble of the character, the personality, the thoughts that we have, and everything. And then the the me, everything becomes like, you know, you you can't really separate. Uh, but actually, the character and the personality still are there, even though the me is gone. The me has nothing to do with personality or character. Zero, there, there's no connection between the two, really. We could say that the me utilizes and, and, uh, and the character and pro possibly criticizes the character and, and hinders the character and filters and, and stop the character from, you know, try to stop the character from being whatever it is that condition, you know, we, we are unique, we're all unique, so we have like uh, had the conditioning of our experiences, the way, the way we were born and what we learned, the way, the way we were brought up, you know, all that, you know, and it's, it's, uh, 
that is something that that helps us to survive. It's a, it creates a, a baggage of, of for survival to, to 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 function properly in the world. If not, we would be completely disconnected. You know. So, but that is very very much like some kind of a functioning that's automatic in the body, and and it has nothing to do with the me. So that is why the character, the personality. You know, will not necessarily change very much once uh, if the me, uh, this illusion of the me falls away. The character will function yeah. in the same way. Sometimes it changes because often the me, the me uh, always you, utilizes the character and, and like I say, criticizes it or, or, or whatever and creates a lot of stories around our personali personality and character. And when the oh, me is not there, that's, yeah. Yeah. Once the me is not there, the character can, it's free to be whatever character it is. There's no more sensor, sensor, uh, you know, no more, no more filters, no more filters. And then you become more real, actually. Yeah. You become more real in, in reality because the filters are, are, are taken up. The, the me, the filter that, that keeps like, a, you know, obstacles. To, to just the, the way it is. And so that's why, you know, in, in that non-duality liberation, this, this kind of, that's what I, I see for myself. It's an observation, really. It's like uh, I'm much more, uh, I'm much more, in a way, free, but it's not me, but there's just like, uh, there's no, no concern, really, about my character and my personality. As before, there was a lot, a lot of consideration, and I didn't like my personality. I didn't like my my character. No, I don't. I don't even consider my personality as character. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> you no, know, it's funny you say that because I was watching. It was part of this film. I was watching a clip of myself, and I was almost going, "That's not me." Mm -hmm. And then I would. Yeah. Then obviously, what that was almost was is, well, I have an image of how I should be. And that's mm -hmm. fixed and it's blah, 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 whatever that is. And if it doesn't adhere to that, then it's, oh, that's yeah, yeah, exactly. shit. You fucking, that's yeah. terrible. And that's, mm -hmm. that's the exhaustion of being... So I remember when I this experience happened recently, it was a kind of a sort of a fearlessness of... But not... Not uh, stupidly, not, it was just a kind of not giving a fuckness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not in a, a dumb way. It would be, you know, yeah. feeling meek is, and there's no attempt to want to change that, or feeling strong and no attempt to want to change that, or feeling scared and no attempt mm -hmm. to want to change that, nothing to change that. Yeah, yeah. But it's extremely liberating that sense of everything in free fall and just life happening and then of course you come back not you, I, i'm using words but the sense of uh, you know yeah yeah crawling yeah. around in the dirt or whatever mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's true this is it you know like uh, it's it's a funny thing about uh, because I was a very uh, a person very concerned about myself, you know, really definitely, and that's yeah. what it's all about, you know, self concern, self consciousness. Yeah. You could call it self concernness, <laughs> basically. And self obsession, which, yeah. Yeah, self obsessed. You know, that's what the me is, and and actually that's why you know, like spirituality and everything is is such a self oriented. Um, a thing, you know, really, it's self obsession, you know. So look at me. Yeah, even look though we, we have ideas that actually it's uh, something bigger, it's not us, it's the universe, it's the whatever God, it's the, the uh, whatever, but it's still, you know, it's all like the a bit the worship of the self, of, uh, you know. That's why I think people, when they say they are enlightened or, you know, whatever, it's really like having mastered a, a certain a certain uh, development but then it they never arrive to a, to whatever they just you know the next day you know if they let go of everything they're going to go back to square one so they, they still have to preserve what they gain you know so basically 
a, a so-called guru will only tell you what is what he has experienced what he's experiencing at the moment because you know it's not like a, 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 a final state you don't have such a thing as a final state that's why in spirituality of, of what i see there's always more to get there's always a new new little technique to do um, there is and and sometimes even it tells you that you probably don't want to reach it in this life that actually oh. it's just preparation for the next oh, my god, god you fucked up you know so really this this spirituality is a you know, it's not like I'm, I'm judging it, but it's it's such a it's such a, a trap, you know, for in a way of the me that uh, because if you think you're going to get liberated through it, you will you may have beautiful experiences on the way. You will have beautiful state of meditation and this and that. Most probably, you will be feeling like you live in the moment in many times, but you're going to have to come back to the moment all the time. You're going to lose it all the time and you're gonna have to regain it all the time yeah <laughs> it's a non-stop it's a non-stop non-stop you know but in a way if the person is happy w within that past well, nearly in the not? nearly there because yeah. you're surviving in the nearly there and yeah. Yeah. you want to be nearly there yeah and um, in this life and the next 10 <laughs> then i'd be good yeah. i heard that even today i was listening to something and they were talking about purifying and I just found, I actually, I, I, I couldn't wait to get the fucking thing off because we were talking about purifying yourself to get to a stage of this. I don't know how oh, it came God. on. And I just, oh God, oh God. Oh God, oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Run away. Run fast. Yeah. <laughs> Run fast because this is like, yeah. I mean, at the, at the same time, you know, like some people may, may have found, may find some uh, relief in doing that you know yeah, so I there's nothing wrong yes, because yeah. i don't think it's so. something whatever yeah maybe happy. not even yeah maybe not even you whatever know, gets you happy gets you through fucking yeah 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 if it can if it keeps you going you know instead of i just so exhausted bullet in the head i'm just so exhausted with myself that i i just couldn't <laughs> i can't yeah. but i'm sure other people can knock yeah. themselves out with all that shit like that's brilliant for them I know, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I'd almost love to be able to get those um, be chakras going and all those nice colours and all that wonderfulness. But the problem mm. is, it only lasts for like 15 minutes. And then you're kind yeah, of going, exactly. how do I get exactly. that back? Yeah. <laughs> how do I get that? And that seems to be the case with every sort of experience. But it's like, if you go away and have a lovely holiday and then you're kind of back into the grind kind of going oh i want to go back on yeah. holidays yeah exactly exactly there's no big difference you know holidays or spirituality or whatever you know it's just you know the me has many strategies you know the me is full of strategies whatever will work you know it, or whatever you hope it will work yeah that's it you know Oh, definitely. Doing podcasts. <laughs> I'm joking. But, uh, but it's fun, you know. I think it's great, you know. It's, it's, it's fun, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It is, it is fun, you know. They're usually very fun and very entertaining and, and interesting. And, yeah. People and can get you, to see me suffer. And you bear yourself. <laughs> you bear yourself. You know. No, but it's, no, it's good. Yeah, people Why not, get to you know? suffer. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, striving, trying to get it. I don't think it, I don't actually think I'm trying to get it, but I'm not, uh, I'm not, not trying to get it either. I'm not, not, I don't know what I'm at. The fascination or something like that, you know? I mean, it is a fascinating subject, let's face it, you know? So why not? It's fascinating, really. It's, it's nice to be able to have a conversation and have no concepts. Like we're talking and I've no, with no agenda set, no, yeah. it's kind yeah. of nice maybe that and what comes up, comes up. Maybe I, I, the only thing maybe I don't do is start rolling crying, but then that would be a disaster of an interview. But there is that <laughs> sense sometimes. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, of course. And is that being you know. real or is that, I don't know what that is like. I just, you know, uh, 
I don't know yeah. really with the whole thing. It's it, like you said earlier. You said something earlier on. I can't remember what it was, but I had my, the response I was going to say was you, you know really if I just if there was free will and I really knew what I was doing, there's no way I'd be having a, a podcast on non duality. If I really, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah do you absolutely. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's just no way. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, that's I mean, it, you know, like, uh, that, that's what's happening. You, you're in the middle of that and, you know, couldn't help it. You did it, you had it, that's it, you know, that's what we, it's, it, like you said, there's no agenda, you know, whatever outcome. There would be no outcome, actually. It's just that whatever, tomorrow will be another what is, the way it is, and that is it, really. Yeah. Yeah, it's a mad old fucking world. It's a mad old. You do you do you do meetings on this? You know what? I don't have much time because I'm working. I have to work for the time being until I sort some stuff out. So I've not really done uh, no not too much. Have you done also, any? I started. Sorry. Have you done any? Um, very very local with a few people, but uh, yeah. I live in a bit of a provincial city. It's not really like, a, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. small little city. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm interested to, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I, it could be that's what it's going to develop into. Maybe I don't know. Um, it's fun because I like to talk about it in in some ways, you know, for sure. And it's the I was I think there there was uh, one of the podcasts you did with a guy I think his name was was that somebody called Tim Cliss yeah Tim yeah yeah and he was saying you know like that's the only thing that it seems to be interesting really you know like uh, there's no motivation for anything else really and it's yeah. true there's no motivation to that's what my as a teen I I I had that already I lost motivation to even for a career or whatever, was yeah. really big when it happened. That's why I stopped my studies just before doing a, a, an entrance to a, for an, a, a big exam. And I just, it's just, okay, that was it. Because that, that motivation, there was no motivation. There was, it, it could see the, the uselessness of that motivation and yeah. that stuff. It's like, my God, you faced like a mystery that is amazing, something really strange and mysterious and you feel like this this is this is worth uh, something but the rest was like so i can i, I could relate really what he said uh, yeah in place, you know uh, mm. you know yeah it'd be interesting it's interesting um um that if you do have them this sort of thing it can <laughs> provoke a reaction oh yeah i definitely i, I had a good message you, if everybody's hating it if, if, <laughs> if everybody's telling you you're talking through your ass and this is yeah. horrendous yeah. that's probably it, yeah because my experiences the few people with whom i sat down uh, in some small meetings like that they were all very much spiritual seekers really uh, solid spiritual seekers okay. so you know, like telling them, you know, there's no one, there's no one and there's nothing to seek for. It's like you, you're giving them a slap in the head, you know, like on the, on the cheek, you know, like what? You know, that yeah. was like outrageous, you know, like, a, like really big, strong reactions actually. It was like, oh my God, you know, then, yeah. uh, you know, because, uh, that's why, you know, like the, that's why some spiritual teachers are very uptight about non-duality presented in such a way because there is non-duality, you know, like there is some speakers of non-duality that do give her some kind of how to yeah. become non-dual, whatever, but some can get really exasperated by this message and make fun of it. <laughs> yeah. Because, uh, you know, they hate easy. It, yeah. Oh, that's easy to say. There's no one. You they know, hate there's it, yeah. nobody. There's no one. You know? Yeah, there's one in particular who says it's only half the story. Yeah. Maybe it's only half the story <laughs> if you're talking in stories. Yeah. So 
yeah, exactly. Yeah, but uh, he says there's only half the story, and the half the story that is the is the oneness and the big love. <laughs> you probably know what I'm talking about there now, but um, not sure. No, Tim I'm not Freak. Sure. Tim Freak. Oh, oh yeah. The big love. <laughs> Oh yes. Big love. Yes. Uh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> a foot in both worlds. Yeah. A foot in both worlds. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah, brilliant. Yeah. 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 That's I tried to enter the big love for a while. <laughs> I wasn't wasn't good enough yeah. at that. Yeah. Yeah. And before I got in the before I listened to this guy Yuji Krishnamurti and and finally had that uh, finalization. Oh okay, everything is okay. No one. Final, very good. Before that, I was uh, I I got into uh, a cap tolle a little bit. Oh you know? yeah. <laughs> so it's 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 a very spontaneous guy, you know. He's very funny. He must uh, he, he's quite oh, funny he's the way he talks. Lovely and, and holy fucking. He makes you feel I like know. anything's possible, and it's when he tells yeah. that story at the start. I remember going, wow, I want myself a piece of that. I want I some know, of that. Of course. One. Of course. University so, thingy. Yeah. So I'm gonna go and sit down on the park and <laughs> <watch> the <ducks laughs> yeah. for three years. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna save the money. Okay, I save the money and I go and do it and everything. And then I become present, you know. Yeah. So but then I realized when I was a bit doing that and everything, I realized fuck, you know, like every day I have to to, to become present again because I I seem to be absent most of the time. I have to be present again. Yeah. You know, so you, it's an, a non-stop, uh, and that's the thing that just kind of asks, oh, why? Wow, it's like, when is that going to end? Never, maybe, you know? And yeah. I realize, no, that's not it, you know? It's just, uh, I remember that, yeah. I'm trying my best to be present. I'm going to breathe. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I should always be, I just have one more thing to do. Then, exactly. Yeah. Then I'm going to be yeah. the most present. <laughs> yeah, and he tra it's interesting because he was always saying, you know, that actually it's, it, there is no really technique; it's just a little breathing. But that's it; you have to do a little breathing, for instance, a little yeah. breathing, a little moment of spaciousness, breathes, you know. Yeah. That the thoughts so you, go. So away. you have you have to kind of be on your guard, kind of all the time, you know. That's and the living organism is not like that. It doesn't need it doesn't need to be on guard. The living organism is just functioning very very uh, naturally you know automatically naturally you know on its own brilliantly it's amazing this this the living organism is absolutely fascinating the way it functions you know? hmm. it's nice how you say it that it just happens or that that does it works naturally yeah, this invader, I suppose, yeah. but then uh, that's a lot of crap too. But, uh, uh, the invader, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of crap too, yeah. The it's perturbator yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of the natural state. Yeah. 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 Amazing, you know. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, the one thing, you know, when you were talking about, about you know, like, um, what was that you were saying? You were asking me that question about oh man, I've forgotten now. Oh sorry. It just came back something, but uh, no, it's all yeah. I don't come know. Things come and go. Come and go, yeah, definitely. Um yeah. I smell a roast chicken downstairs. Oh, good, good. Some chorizo. Are you a good cook? I like to cook. I'm French, so of course yeah. I, I like to cook. <laughs> well, it's a thing. It's a good. No, I, I, I think you're I, living I, in I England. Like, I like better to eat than to cook. Okay. I like better the French cooking than eat cooking it necessarily. Yeah, it is nicer to be served if the food is good. Yeah. Is... Yes. 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 Yeah. Mm. So you're from Ireland, huh? From Ireland, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, Kenneth, Kenneth Madden is from Ken Ireland. Yeah, Madden. he's in Galway. He lives in Galway oh, yeah. and I live in Dublin. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I lived for some time actually in uh, Limerick. Okay. Yeah, Jeez. in a little village called Castle Connell. Right. Yeah, Limerick. Yeah. Limerick, it's an interesting yeah. place to go to. It's like I, me saying to you, I lived in Limoges. Okay. Uh huh. What do you think of Limoges? Oh, Limoges. Limoges. Limoges in France. Limoges. Yeah. Limoges. 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 Oui. 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 Yeah, Limoges is, uh, it's okay, you know, yeah. Yeah, that's my reaction to Limerick. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit dull, okay, I, I will admit, but, you know. Yeah. I lived in Strasbourg now for six months too, and I, I loved it there. Yeah, they have yeah. good beers too, like, like the island in Strasbourg. Strasbourg, yeah, I didn't have much money now, so I wasn't able to explore. Uh, but um, yeah. I loved Tarte d'Alsace, you know, the mm -hmm. Alsacian tarts. I loved, yeah. I really got introduced to food over there, whereas in Ireland it was just bad food. And I was 18 and absolutely started yeah. to open me up a little bit for food. Yeah. Well, imagine the French in England, Frenchmen in England, not easy, no? No. <laughs> Especially at the moment, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Another subject. Yeah, it's another subject indeed. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I loved France. So, do you go home? Is, is France home? England's home? Is it? Oh, no, France. France is, France is home, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's only like uh, uh, some some different opportunities and things that made me come here, but it's, uh, you know, I, I, miss, I miss France a lot, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And at the same time, when I go back, you know, it, it shows. You know, it's like a bit like you, your, your past, you know, your roots and everything. But when, when I go there, actually, you know, it has changed a lot also. Not as easy, I think, as when I was a teen there and everything. So, mm. but still, yeah, yeah, I don't feel British. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, oh, yeah. this video is not going to be very popular. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about that. It's definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. So, um, yeah, well, I better go downstairs. Um, okay. Uh, so we might talk again. What I, I do, I'm putting, I, lately I've been putting them on Patreon first. Yeah, I saw that, yes. Um, yes. So I'll probably just put it up there for a while and then I will release it in a few weeks' time. Um, okay. But I'll send it on to you. Um, so it'll just take a few weeks, but I will release them all in time. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I saw what you were talking about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just seeing, I'm just trying. Yeah, I mean, you, I can understand, you know, you can't just support the whole thing like that with, a, you know. Yeah. You need a bit of a backup there. Be nice to get it. We'll see what happens. It's, it's, um, It's an interesting thing anyway. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I definitely, I will put it out there, but I'll send it on okay. to, anyway. Um, yeah, and, perfect. Um, and then should we, I probably will definitely chat again, I'd say. It was great okay. talking to you, man. Yeah, it was nice. I appreciate it too. It was fun. Yeah. Enjoy the chicken. I will. <laughs> okay. Good to talk, man. Okay. Salut. Uh, Salut. Salut. Yeah, we, the next time I am, um, we'll do it en français. Ah oui. On va le faire en français. Sûr. Parfait. Oh, oh, mais mais tu parles en français alors? Oui. Ah, oui. Oui. Mais j'ai jamais parlé um, à part non dualité. Faut ah, parler. Il va falloir essayer. Écoute, parce que moi, j'ai beaucoup de gens qui. Ok, I have a lot of people. Non, j'ai compris. And I'm surprised. Ah, ben, oui. si je te, ah, oui. Continue. Continue. Oui. I, I use. Uh, j'ai <laughs> beaucoup de vidéos en français en fait, plus oui. de vidéos en français que de vidéos en anglais. Oui, j'ai vu ça euh, quand j'étais sur euh, oui. ma ouais. channel en YouTube. Très bien, très bien. Et donc, on pourrait faire une petite euh, comme ça euh, discussion, conversation en français, doucement, tranquillement, en français. Oui. Pas trop vite, facile. 
Oui, je pense que ça, um, c'est possible. <rire> ça, c'est possible. Je, um, je pense aussi que ça va être très intéressant pour moi parce que... Ça va ouvrir le marché français. <rire> oui, ça va exploser. <rire> ça va exploser le oui, marché. Ça, oui. le, la France euh, va exploser. France, euh, la France arrive en France. Donc <rire> arrive en France. Euh, voilà, ben écoute, absolument. On fait, oui, mais on je fait pense que petite, ça, va, euh, euh, ouais. ça peut être très intéressant. Vraiment, ouais. euh, mais je... Euh, je euh, j'ai entendu mon accent et j'aime pas mon accent. Je, je veux avoir un accent parfait, mon français, comme ça. Et les, les Français, ils aiment les, les Irlandais. Ils aiment beaucoup l'Irlande. Ils aiment beaucoup l'Irlande. Oui. L'Irlande, c'est. Tu dis un Français, tu es Irlandais, tu es un dieu. Tu es un dieu, <rire> Oui. Et en rugby. Est-ce que tu euh, aimes le rugby? Un peu, un peu. Oh, okay. Moi, je suis plus tennis, j'aime le tennis, mais bon, oui, ah, okay. rugby, rugby, okay, un mais... peu aussi. Oui, yeah. ok. Mais les Irlandais, euh... ah. <rire> j'ai pas beaucoup de, de vocable. Vocabulaire, oui. Vocabulaire, mais je peux euh, comprendre facilement. Je pense parce ouais. que j'ai écouté un petit peu que ce que tu as dit sur le channel on, channel on YouTube et okay. j'avais compris beaucoup, je pense. Ah ouais, ouais. Mais mm -hmm. tu parles pas mal, ouais. Ben ça va. Voilà, on va. Tu vas pratiquer ton français. Comme ça. Oui, j'avais une copine française et uh, I developed the habit of being able to fight in French. And mm -hmm. <laughs> Ça a aidé la conversation, or, or whatever. OK. Parfait. OK. Parfait. La prochaine fois? OK. Next time. Next time. See you. See you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> take care, man. Yeah, take care. Enjoy your Hi, if you like the conversation that I just had and you'd like more, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Frank. Frank, 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 Frank,